Hey, listen, uh, that we tune Lovely. that you're listening to. Mm-hmm. Clan Hannigan is who's in the hood right now. The, the website is clanhannigan.com. Clanhannigan.com. I can't believe that was already taken. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, Stefan, is that what we're that's, saying? That's me. There's a whole bunch of accent de goos and accent de graves, and I don't know. you got a lot of accents on your, on your, yeah. uh, in your name. They're all Belfast accents, though, so oh, it's really? all good. Okay. <laughs> Stefan Hannigan, Saskia Tompkins. Present. What, did I say it right? Yes, okay, Saskia Tompkins, who will get a microphone later. Uh, They moved to Canada in 2007 from England (laughs) with three wee children. Oh, geez, try pronouncing these. Good luck. Um, Well, that's got to be similar to Rasheen, right? So it's... Good, good, getting close. Get rid of the R. Yeah, it's uh, Oshin. Parfait. Yeah. Yeah. And wait, is that one of you guys? No. No, because when you introduced me, I didn't hear that one. So who's Oshin? That's the boy. Yeah. That could sound like a chick name, right? Uh, no. Nope. No? no Rashin is the, the yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't want to get in trouble yeah, any more than I already am. He's six foot and nearly 300 pounds. So oh, I won't uh, be saying that to him. No. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Girls, how come I can't hear you? Can you talk into your mics? Hello. Oh, you're just being quiet. Okay, I got it. <laughs> um, now, the other one is uh, Ellie? Ella. Ella. Dang. Yeah. Ella and Aisha? Yeah. Aisha, it's not like a, uh, how do I say that? What? Don't say it. You know where I'm going, right? A non-Irish name? A non- is that what you're doing? <laughs> is, that, is that what you're, it's you're a non-Irish grasping desperately name. at? Yeah, correct. Aisha. Yeah. Okay, yeah. hold on. Aisha. I'm going to spell this per- phonetically. Aisha and then a- Ellie. Ella. Ella. Yeah, okay, Ella. Like Fitzgerald. We don't care about the other one because he's not here. All right. Anyway, enough rattling on. Let's let's uh, do a song, please. Yeah. What is, song are we going to do? We're going to do... 10,000 miles? Yeah, yeah. I don't know what that is in kilometers. You'll have to translate. <laughs> 10,000 kilometers here on the Drew Marshall Show. Oh, wait, you got to explain the uh, the Gandhi instrument there. What is that? Okay, this is a nickel harpa. This comes from um, uh, the part of Ireland, which is known as Sweden. And uh, Wouldn't that be the southwest? Uh, it's kind of northeast. That's what I meant. Uh, yeah, that's right. You know, you start off in the southwest, and then you turn around, <laughs> and the then you're, yeah, you see? It's the, part of that Irish thing where, uh, can, you know, when you're asking for directions, you say, I wouldn't start from here. No, that's Same right. kind of thing. Okay. So anyway, it's a nickel harpa, uh, yeah. which is what happens when you leave uh, a violin and a piano in a room overnight, and it right. gets colder right. and colder. And right. I'm leaving a few things out. Yeah. Anyway, it's the national instrument of Sweden. Okay. It's, it's a keyed violin is the best way to describe it, with uh, its own reverb unit, because it's got a whole bunch of strings that like to speak on their own. Wow. And, this is uh, ridiculous. 800 years old. Yep. Wow. No, 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 but the whole, yeah, the invention of it. Yeah. Okay, yep. got it. Yep. Got it. All right, well, the girls are going to be doing the vocals. Heard them earlier. Uh, they sounded amazing. One of them's got a wicked cold, Thank so you. good for you for sounding as good as you do with all Thank that you. snot up your nose. <laughs> and, wait, is that an appropriate thing well, to say? I don't know, but it's coming your way. So. <laughs> You're in the direct line of fire right there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on the Drew Marshall Show, Clan Hannigan.
Fantastic. Clan Hannigan on the Drew Marshall Show. Man, okay. The, I, t- I'm sorry. Um, I need to say this uh, boldly to our listeners. I pick really good musicians to come on this show, and you guys are no different. Just fantastic. So good to have you. Girls, I want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to your parents. I want to talk to you. Ella. Yes. 17. Yes. Um, when you uh, were forced into the family music scene, no, what like what's that? When people see kids in the family and stuff, they they do yeah. wonder like how Michael Jackson's father is your dad, right? I mean, is he, you know? So let's get into a little therapy session right now. Ella, what are you? Why are you doing this? Well, I just think that it's really special to have a whole family that's into the same thing. Yep. And the chemistry that we already have is just naturally there. Yeah. And we're all into music as it is and singing from a very young age. We've been into that. Yeah. So I think it's really cool that we can all do that together and experience it as a family. If you weren't doing the music stuff, what else? Well, what's uh, something else you're into? Other than boys. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I dance. You I dance. dance do you do like the curly hair, scary I Halloween Irish, Irish girl dance? <laughs> yes, I do. Don't, I'm serious. If they made a Halloween, like a horror movie, and had those girls running around I in the movie. I don't wear the wig, though. You don't? No. Because that scares the snot out of me. Yeah. Every pub I'm in, and all of a sudden they go run, running around the pub. I, I just. It's like a poodle on your head. It's worser. <laughs> That's a real word, by the way. Um, okay, Aisha. Yeah. You're not 17. You I'm are 14. 14. I was going to yeah. guess. Um, Fjortin. It's a place in Northern Ireland. Aisha, um, um, what drives you nuts about your sister? Uh. Right out of the bus. Right there. Have a look. What's it look like under there? What does, what drives you nuts about her? Uh. <laughs> Come I on. I mad at you for stealing my clothes. I, well, that's where I was going to go, yeah. the stealing yeah. clothes thing. Or when she, because her legs are like... Twice Eight feet mine. long. When she steals my ripped jeans and then rips the knees, so that they're like yeah. my entire legs. Ripped. I know. I know. The knee holes are like on my thigh. I know. Yeah. I hate when that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you go to the same school? Yeah. Um, yeah. Who's smarter? Uh, <laughs> we're in both subject? smart in different ways. Right. One of you is really good at phys ed. <laughs> <Sorry. Aisha>. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, really your girls are skipping fun. Skipping phys ed, yeah. Yeah, skipping yeah. phys ed, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to come back to you two in a minute. I want to okay. try to... My goal, girls, on this show is just to flat out embarrass you at some point. Go for it. Sounds good. Yeah, it looks like a challenge I'm is up. i yeah. Okay, all right. Father, let me ask you a question. Yes. Was it your intention... Yes, my son. Yes, my son. Yes, father. <laughs> By the way, did what part of the uh, troubles were you? Uh, uh, I was I was born uh, a Roman Catholic Buddhist Protestant. Oh, so you get along well with David White? Probably. That's yeah. his whole shtick. Yeah, yeah. Well, a little kumbaya well, going on. Well, you know that there. story about the the little kid who comes into the playground and the kid says to him, "Yes, I do know that story." Are you a Catholic or a Protestant? <laughs> we talked yeah. about that earlier. And he said, uh, well, "I'm a Buddhist." And he says, "Are you Catholic Buddhist or a Protestant Buddhist?" Really? Anyway, carry on. <laughs> Do the show thing. We're going to go back to your daughters in a second. We're going to get some serious dirt on you. Like what kind of medication you're on. Um, <laughs> I'm all good, actually. No, where, what yeah. county? Like Belfast proper? Yeah, Belfast proper. Okay. Yeah, that's me. Um, when was the last time you were there? Uh, four weeks ago. Oh. Yeah, maybe five weeks ago. Were you doing DDD stuff? No, I was hanging out and doing weird uh, techie stuff for my dad. Who likes to use Facebook and FaceTime and get his? You were iPad helping your dad going. with his iPad. Who's ninety three? Nice. Yeah, ninety four actually. You know, there's a yeah. guy. There's a guy named Jordy who used to phone into the Jerry Anderson show. Jerry Anderson, an old, old, old boy, farmer How's boy. About you? <laughs> How's yeah. about you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> From London Stroke Dairy. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Uh, and um, he was about that age as well. So is your dad still going? Oh yeah, going strong. Yeah. Uh, Saskia, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. This You're stuck with him forever. I'll be leaving the ship. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but she'll forget that we're together yeah, she long won't. before I do. No. So yeah. it's all good. Yeah. She'll be like a goldfish. Every time she swims <laughs> around, she'll look at you and go, Boy, who are you? You're <laughs> handsome. Yeah. Except she's not Irish, so she won't mm. speak like that. No. That's hope never. How many instruments do you play? Uh, regularly 40. Uh, what? T- t- yeah. Regularly 40. On to kind of an okay standard, 200. You asked. It's all true. <laughs> Kid you not. That's not even a thing. There's not. What? Yeah. We have over 900 instruments in our house. Yeah. 
But I mean, it's like. Well, you don't. You know, you don't have a microphone, right? Yeah, we have. Nine. She doesn't care. Saskia. You know, I'll translate <laughs> what she said. Was <laughs> we have over nine hundred instruments in our house. Oh my goodness. Very nice. Yes. You sound like the uh, the uh, spy from uh, from Chaos that was, always went against <laughs> Maxwell Smart. What was his name? This is true. I have no idea. No, no, no. I'm sorry. Anyway, I really. Work here. So. Uh, What's the fanciest, weirdest instrument you play? Like I always thought, if somebody played triangle and they and they put it through like a distortion pedal, that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, I've probably done it. It's probably, probably. on my third album or something. But um, weird. Uh, well, Irish bagpipes are weird because you need. And you didn't bring those, did you? Uh, I did. Yes. Where are they? Uh, they're they're hiding because they're really shy. So what are the Irish bagpipes? What else? They're pretty crazy. Uh, Wait, because they're not the blowy ones. They're the they're the army ones. Yeah, they're the safest instruments in the world because they come with their own bag. You see an air bag and really? a seat belt, so it's all good. It's yeah. just one after another with uh, you, I'm isn't not it? <laughs> Where's my drum kit? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, is there another Celtic, a famous, a famous or a popular or a bizarre Celtic in- instrument that you play? Oh well. Uh, Boron's pretty yeah. bizarre. Celtic bazookis, they're good. Uh, Excuse yeah, me? The bazookis. They're, uh, they were hanging Didn't around. Didn't the IRA use those? No, they oh. did, they the only ones that couldn't spell. Oh, they were less dangerous because right. they had strings rather than bullet things. Baz- what's a bazooki? A bazooki is like a big mandolin. Oh, okay. oh, oh I, can, I like those, yeah. Yeah, it, it's Did strings, you bring that? Uh, no. No. You just brought the boring guitar. Uh, well, Seriously. It's, it's you know how many guitar players we have? Like yeah. Tommy Emmanuel has sat here and played guitar. Yeah. Oh, he's he's okay. He's all right. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a bit of a player. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He plays a maton. Very nice guitar. Very nice. I, I, yep. like I told you a fact there. Sorry. I believe it's Maton. Yeah, okay. no, maton. Anyway, but kind of. Well, he says Maton. Yeah, well, what does he know? He's only Tony Emmanuel, the greatest guitar player in the world. <laughs> Let's do a song. What are you doing? We'll do a song. Uh, this is a song about missing home, and it's called London. And, it's uh, called London. London, yeah, because a lot of us Irish, you know, we had to go elsewhere to work and stuff. Right. Some of us ended up in Canada doing radio shows, and, you know, some yep. of us ended up playing music. Yeah. So here we are. This is about that, that moment. Are there lyrics in this song? And everything, yes. yeah. Written by Tommy Sands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From Ross Trevor, County yeah, Down. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, Clan Hannigan, live on the Drew Marshall Show. Can you hear me? Oh, can you? 
Pretty song. Holy cow. Beautiful. Clan Hannigan. Clan Hannigan on the Drew Marshall Show. That reeks of emotion. There is so much in that. Matter of fact, girls, Pinky Square right now? Pinky Square. Ready? Yeah. Okay. okay. Will you sing that at my funeral, please? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm not sure when it's going to be. I'm not, like, announcing anything here on the show, but that was beautiful. Man, so much emotion in that song. The Irish are passionate to... Uh, passionate bunch of uh, alcoholics um <laughs> anyway so father let me just uh ask you a couple more questions sure i want to know the love story i love love stories like i want to know one? how you made the first move on this woman you ready for this i'm ready i think you like this i think so, your story might have some things in there that might not be considered facts I'm cringing, right? really yeah well, you know never let facts get away of a good, good story. story yeah right? there you go yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ask the president down there. Anyway, yeah. moving on. Uh, so I was uh, booked to play at a festival in uh, a town called Whitby in England. And uh, our band, as part of our uh, gigs, uh, we had to go into pubs. We were forced. It was terrible to go and drink in pubs <laughs> and, and play folk music with the, the people that were there. And there was this amazing, amazing woman sitting down. And a seat became available beside her. And I sat down beside you her. You did not. I did and everything. And I said to her, I said... This is what I said. I said, you are an amazing fiddle player. And she looked at me and she said, yes, I know. No <laughs> way. Mm, yes way. And it was love at first and, uh, snap. You know, in other words, buddy, you're going to have to do a lot mm -hmm. better than that. So yeah, anyway, like, I've, like I've never heard that before, we, right? Yeah, That's what exactly, she's saying. Exactly. Yeah. And anyway, so we kept in contact, and then I, I stole her. And How did you keep in contact? Because that was back in the day when you wrote handwritten letters, wasn't yeah, it? Well, and you had to send them by donkey? They had this telephonic communication oh, device. right, right. Yeah. Invented by some Scottish guy who <laughs> didn't, didn't want to yell at people. Anyway. Uh, he was I also, think Canadians have a different story about who invented the telephone. His family but, were Scottish. Come okay, on. Right. Bell, yeah. Bell. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. He's got a nice place. I went to see it once. Anyway, 
Was there an official proposal? No, no, no you're like this. this. Well, <laughs> we, does, should Saskia you tell see, this one? Then, oh yes, no, you're you're, you're off. You're off. Microphone. Saskia, go. go. You go, girl. Okay, so um, we 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 had one child. <laughs> yeah. Oshin. Yeah. And then I uh, yeah I went oh no I'm pregnant again. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's causing and, it? How did that and, happen? And, yeah. and uh, we're saying we, we haven't got any money because we're skint musicians and we need double buggies and things. And Stefan said, "Oh, do you think we should get married then? Because yeah. then people will give us stuff." Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Yeah. You so don't. You can so throw we got a party. married. We got married. We threw a party. We got married two weeks before Ella was born. <laughs> well done. Well timed. Yeah. So no, there you right. go. That's me. So oh, like, like one out, one halfway, and one in. So there we go. You can have a. You should have a go fund. That's what people should do these days for uh, when they get married. Instead of having a shower, that people really don't want to go to or a bucket dough and all that kind of stuff just have a gofundme page <laughs> here's 20 go away all right what's that in your hand statue no it isn't uh these are ellen pipes uh ellen is the irish word for oh my god they can't be this hard um, yeah uh, it's actually the irish word for elbow because um it's a set of pipes which um you use bellows rather than your mouth to blow into right they're hard because they're two octaves but they're easier because you can drink while you play <laughs> He's he's you got see? something for everything, you doesn't see, he? It works. You are like a walking bumper sticker. I that know. is just amazing. I know. It's worrying, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Two of us in the same room. I wow. I know. Who knew? <laughs> All right, give us a little sound of like. Do you have to warm those babies up like the Scottish bagpipes? And uh, uh, no, 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 they they do make those organic noises. Yeah. Uh, is that what they're called? Yeah. And if you've never heard Ellen pipes, they are supposed to sound like this. Okay. okay. All right. Have a listen to this. be kidding me thank you thank you You're so welcome. much You're for welcome. that that was magic thanks very much i'm sorry to get all fanboy on this no, but that was a burned in moment for me